Good afternoon, everyone, uh, fellow members of MICC, SCC, as well as follower of uh, Play Exhibition, uh, subscriber of uh, Play Exhibition YouTube, as well as SCC page. Um, very good afternoon. Uh, today, um, we have a very, well, he's a returning guest of uh, Smurf. Um, he came on on last June for our show and we are actually very happy for him to actually come back on again uh let's have a, wel a warm welcome to mr derek chu hello hi hi guys hey 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 hi, hi. how are you how's good, things good good uh good <laughs> it looks yeah. like you're actually back to back at your studio as compared yep. to last time uh -huh. where you were at your bedroom or somewhere <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i was like testing out the connection uh, before that so mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um yeah, um you have a uh, an hour uh for your session. So uh okay. what mm -hmm. what do you think that you want to actually do in this hour? Will you be painting? Will you be actually drawing live? Um uh, can we actually talk a little bit on your current or future project? Uh what do you want to actually talk about? <laughs> uh okay. So actually I pre prepared some uh, slides lah. So ah, uh, you probably actually, can okay. run through yeah some some of the like my journey as being an artist. I think uh I've done this before once, but mm. I kind of updated the slides lah. So there'll be more things to see uh from me. I mean uh, yeah. cover work mm. and commercial work and stuff like yeah. that. So I like, think I just along the way sure that uh, a lot of fans will be interested to actually mm -hmm. uh, ask when are you coming back for Duran at Malaysia and other mm -hmm. among other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so so yeah la, So uh I just want to make it a bit more interesting. La. So just uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Sure. I mean having you online on air is already interesting enough. So That's anything right. that you want Very to do is already. definitely add on. <laughs> it's all bonus. You're like our lecturer, okay? You're like our <laughs> art lecturer. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, oh, like, no. Like there the is. Is actually <laughs> a right break. So he's just got frozen. So let's wait for him to actually come back. So meantime, uh, we can actually have a look at uh, some of his work that he actually shared <clears> with <throat> us. Yeah. Oh, Derek, you're back. You're Am back, I back? Derek. That's yes, so weird with this connection. Mm, just now you were frozen. You want to yeah, okay. disconnect and reconnect again? Would that help? I, should I? I, should I? I, I think, I I think sure. he's all right. You're all right You're right, right now. So let's hmm. continue. Okay, let's, let's continue. continue while this. Okay. Yeah, so uh, let me share my screen. Hang on. Um, okay. Yeah, let me just put it on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there you go. Always start with a pretty girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Uh, uh huh. is it? Oh, okay. Do let me get... let me give it like a maximum. Yeah, zoom. Give you. We give you all all the screen. The full okay, screen. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm trying to see how I can get rid of the start the free trial. Hello. <laughs> 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 let it let it okay lah, huh? oh, Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, no problem. Yes. Okay. Hang on, uh, okay. Yep, okay. So, oh no, my connection is cranky. Uh. Um, slightly, yeah. it's mm. slightly, but it's not that bad. Uh. You can still see your screen, you can see your mouse moving. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, like, let's continue. Okay, so, um, yeah, so this is uh, something that I prepared. Yeah, so if anyone has any questions <laughs> about uh, anything you know just uh, feel free to ask you know i'll be happy to answer the questions um so it's just a very brief introduction of myself so uh i'm Derek Chu. so i've been in this industry for some time so yeah how so long i think how long <laughs> i think so have time. you counted <laughs> uh, yeah i think it's in the slide somewhere oh uh, 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 since uh, sorry, since two thousand and six. <laughs> ah, fourteen yeah, years. So, yeah, fourteen <laughs> years. Uh. Oh, that's been a while, man. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I think what really inspired me was, uh, it, I think it's important to every artist. I mean, I say like uh, your inspiration to get like yourself jump started to being an artist, uh. I mean, for me back then, 
it was uh, these two anime that you see on screen, uh, Evangelion mm -hmm. and Secret of Blue Water. I remember it was still like airing on TV. So uh, it, it made a really big impression on me because uh, because I, I, I don't know, somehow the design and the whole, uh, the characters and stuff like that uh, really appealed to me, you know, and uh, that's how I actually got introduced into like anime. Yeah, so I started uh, watching these shows and then started buying like uh, magazines and, and some comics and manga to, you know, uh, read and yeah so like uh this is like part of my journey um i actually got into comics uh pretty late uh i think it's 2017 i started like helping out with stan uh at his booth in san diego you know and with my broski uh edgy curie I, I guess you guys know him as well uh, yeah, yeah. So that that's that's how it all started, like. I mean, like we all just wanted to go for like a fun trip, and I was lucky enough that you know Stan, uh, you know, wanted us to join him, and and you know he brought us there and to help him out as well with things, and 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 that's how everything kind of you know got started. Um, yeah. So that's for my comic journey, but uh, as far as artists, you know, is I graduated in like two thousand and four, lah. In I had a diploma in digital media design. So I was actually uh, traditionally trained uh, in mm -hmm. 2D animation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that was that was tough. Lah. I mean, the whole course was tough because 2D animation is not really <laughs> easy. Your passion, is that, is that uh, not because it's not your passion or? You see, the funny thing is that, you know, I showed you uh, my inspirations, right? The mm -hmm. Evangelion yeah, and, and the Secret of Blue Water. Yeah, so it's like actually it's like Gynax Animation Studios. So I thought like, whoa, man, animation is so cool, and I got yeah. I got to do this when I grow older. So mm -hmm. uh, as I as I really dive into it and, and you know and and read 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 up and, and actually see for myself what animation is about, you know, then I realized that whoa, man, you actually need like tons of uh work Detail to be done. And yeah. Patient. Yeah, yeah, it's like twenty four. They they say it's like twenty four frames per second. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. usually we we draw twelve drawings. So one drawing you mm -hmm. have to take like two frames. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, twelve drawings per second is, yeah, is kind of crazy, yeah. It's a lot of drawing. Yeah. yeah. So I remember like my <laughs> assignments were like drawing, uh, like like jumping rice sacks and stuff like that, and and it was like mm -hmm. like some of them was like so thick like a, a few hundred to like thousand pages of it, just for like. Uh, just a couple <clears> of seconds or a couple of minutes nope. of uh, actual yeah. animation. Yeah, sorry, my connection is a bit better. Did you guys we are, we can still hear you. No worries. Yeah, yeah, okay. sounds good. Man. Then, so okay, no yeah. So, um, yeah, so so in the end, it's like, well, a few hundred pages just for for that is is really crazy. Lah. So, I, I mm -hmm. you know, when I did my uh, studio project, I think I did some uh, Wolverine character, you know, as mm -hmm. a like a gag. Uh, it's an animation, but I think I lost it really. Like it was about one, one, I mean, it'll be cool if I can find it, but it's it's so old that I. But I still have a picture that you see later of that over Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that that it's was like, uh, that was like my first kind of. I kind of got into like collecting a little bit of comics, like at that point in time. So I was actually like uh, following some artists. Uh, you know that that you know there are still some of the the great artists that are still uh in this industry. You know, like Adam Hughes, uh, uh Francis Lionel, um, you know, uh, yeah. So these are the things that actually like got me into you know different kind of uh art artwork that actually you know drive me to to learn more things. So as I as I go along, I realize, um. Animation is too hard. I, I know <laughs> it's it's really too hard. And and this, I think the market in 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 Singapore back then, well, I think wasn't um wasn't that in demand as well. I guess I think it's more on like three D animation. So mm -hmm. yeah, in the end, I I realized that hey, you know, I I, I found I, I managed to buy a, a copy of uh, the Capcom's uh art book. So I was flipping mm -hmm. through, and that's when I, I, you know, saw all the concept art and 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 all the character art for Street Fighter, 
and and all this like only musha and stuff like that and I, that really like got me uh, blown away in a sense so i was like really uh interested to see like as a how how can i you know grow in this direction instead you know because it seems like uh more interesting because I, I i i feel like i'm someone who is like I can't draw the same thing over and over again. It will make me kind of lose a bit of focus or interest on it. Mm. So that's why I start thinking about like doing it as a illustrator point of view, or probably a concept artist, where I flesh out so, the ideas and stuff like that. Yeah. So you rather spend like uh, hours on <clears throat> one single painting rather than hours on like a stack of drawings. Yeah, I think if you if you put it that way, lah. Yeah, I I think I I kind of prefer you know just grinding on a one illustration you know for a few days and then you know trying to make it look as uh rendered as i can you know uh, or at least that's that's what i i would like yeah so this this when actually uh i knew stan stanley now from a very long time ago so uh it's like in 2006 I, he actually hired me to to join his studio which which to this day I still feel is like one of my uh one of the lucky things that happened in my life. Uh. Because lucky if this didn't break. happen, yeah, I don't think I, I would actually uh be doing what I'm doing. Uh. I mean but because I really uh, learned from yeah. So. Have, have you found out from Stan like what's what is the reason that you got hired the first place? <laughs> <laughs> is it your personality? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, I think at the point of time, I, I actually, I, I, I think he got tell me before. But oh. I think at the point of time, is I, I, I think just nice. I, I kind of fit into what they, they were looking for. La. Because back then, Singapore, um, the, the artist community was still really small uh, mm. compared to now. La. Now it's like uh, really a lot of like, artists around which is good and mm -hmm. uh which is actually very different from from last time la. last time i remember there was only like deviant art right mm -hmm. so like uh yeah. that's where you meet like artists and you say hey you know this is a singaporean eh? you know <laughs> then you got this feeling like hey you know right. anyway, finally i right. found a you know you it's found like a rest Singapore species, right? yeah yeah exactly, exactly. Rest species. <laughs> pokemon yeah <laughs> so so like uh that's actually how i'm i knew about stan i was surfing on divina and i saw this mm. guy i said wow his stuff awesome man like uh, as i was looking through his gallery and then i saw eh, singapore and i was like hey who's this so you know i i think from then on we kind of like messaged each other and then mm. uh, we got to know each other and then he told me that he's like opening a studio now so asked me to came, come down for like a visit you know just to see uh how mm. the studio was like so that's that's when i i went down and then we yeah i kind of uh knew more about him and the studio so i was i, I remember i was in uh, ns at that point of time so i was serving the army and i was i think there's one more year to go so from from then on, I knew him, and then he hired me. So from from then, it's like I, you know, I constantly been uh, working with him, you know, for for since then, lah. Mm. So that's 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 a it's a very good question that's actually coming from uh, mm -hmm. um, coming from an Asian background where demands are, are for young mm -hmm. ones to pursue graduate type of degree. <clears throat> How much support mm -hmm. do you get when you're pursuing art as a career? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sure that you, and always the talk of uh, can you can you make a living doing art i think it's always yeah in, yeah i i like, think that's that's always the the prob problem i i guess i mean uh back back then my i mean my parents also didn't really uh understand what i'm doing and mm -hmm. probably also he they had a different uh Mm, I mean, it's for my good lah. I mean, on, from their point of view lah. Yeah. So, but it's it's so, I guess ingrained in Asian in, in Asian culture that Asian you know, culture, uh, right? the, yeah. the sun yeah. or, yeah, that that we have to go and do you know like get a gra graduate a degree you know and then stuff like that work in a lawyer firm be a doctor you know this I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. but yeah, slowly I feel, <laughs> I mean it's a bit stereotypical lah, but I I I feel as a it's slowly changing lah, I guess. It's slowly mm -hmm. changing lah. And and you know, probably communication with uh the, the you know the older generation to to let them understand that, you know, actually uh 
this this is an industrial solar. It's, it's also um, a place where you know you can make a, a decent living out of it. Yeah. It's still oh, a career, it's still a career back, path. Bring back the paycheck yeah. and just show them that, oh, this is what I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> Things to uh, actually uh, just I, approve. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, but but to be to be honest, I think nowadays, you know, my parents also uh, they are a bit more supportive of what I do because they start to understand uh, what exactly I'm doing. You know, because I have to show them, say, "Hey, see, I did this, so this is for what." So I'll, I'll, you know, sometimes I'll briefly tell them, uh, you know, in a very general context, uh, so that they will understand a little bit better, lah. You know, but I think nowadays with. Uh, like the media, like Facebook and stuff like that. I think like like these things became become more um, common, I guess. You know nowadays. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, last time you talk about drawing art, you know people are thinking about uh, like going to art gallery to paint. You know, or maybe canvas, street artists but... that try to actually sell like uh, <clears throat> thanks, yeah, <laughs> sell portrait. Oh, uh, yeah. That kind of thing. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they would they probably would think it like in this direction. But nowadays, if you think about it, art has so many forms of expression. Like you know, sculptures. Mm -hmm. You have uh, mm -hmm. digital art. I mean, digital art is one of the the bigger things that you you see nowadays in the in the sense of like the relationship between uh, because like you're using your handphone, you know, you mm -hmm. people will see like, hey, oh, see this game or this like this artwork on on some app. You know, people would start to relate a bit more on this. I I guess so. Yeah, but yeah. that's just what I think lah. Mm. So I think it's a positive change lah. I mean to both aspects like people are more um exposed to to art in general like the whole culture of having like art and you know collecting art or, or just you know looking at artwork i think that's that's a very good change i see i'm seeing uh, these decades mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, okay. so yeah so after that um after all this you know i, I learned really a lot from from uh stan and everyone in the studio lah, because like we have different studios i'm uh, sorry different artists in the studio so that mm -hmm. every time when we you know mix around we exchange uh ideas we exchange tips we exchange like things that we learn or a certain function in photoshop say hey you see actually this can can do this you know and stuff like that so like you know uh we we gather all our, our knowledge and we, we you know kind of share it among everyone and and you know, pick the one that, that is suitable for, for you or what you want to grow as, and then you, you, you know, you head towards a direction that you want, la, you know. So, um, yeah, so after that, uh, I started doing my own gigs, my own projects, and then, uh, you know, we, so that is from 2013, la, I started to mm -hmm. venture out into freelance. Mm -hmm. So till so now, your, la, I'm still. Do your parents so, collect your yeah, work? Are they like your biggest fans? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, I I did show them lah, but you know it's like they, I guess to them oh. it's like oh oh uh oh cartoon lah, you know. I, but it's, <laughs> I understand lah, I understand lah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm actually you know, but they they probably you know they they don't follow like uh like all these Marvel movies or anime mm. and stuff. So probably you know they don't really relate as much as uh we do lah. You know, in the sense yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Lah. So. Right. Mm. So yeah, this is some of the clients that I've worked with like, over the years. So just just uh just to show very impressive. Wow, <clears throat> impressive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, la, okay. La. <laughs> Sometimes it's <laughs> lucky get the project. Uh, with, oh yeah, so so just some of the Wolverine that was <laughs> oh your Wolverine's so cute. So, cute. <laughs> yeah, so this is a Wolverine that I did in 2003. La. I actually made an animation for this. So mm. uh you know, back then I just kind of picked up Photoshop, la, So the, 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 so I mean, like, if anyone's interested, I, you know, I just want to show like, uh, my progress, la, You know, mm -hmm. so I hope to to be able to inspire people, you know, who, because it's it's not a, it's not a um easy journey, la, I would say it's also not a short journey. You know, it's been like uh fifteen years, fifteen. That's right, fifteen. 17, years. Yeah, about fifteen to seventeen years. Mets, so we Mets need to go and brush up. <clears throat> so it's it's a constant struggle, and, and I understand. I mean, I've talked to some of the younger artists, and they told me like you know they always feel stuck or, or they feel like uh they you know they they kind of like don't know where they're going. I think it's it's really um a part and parcel of an artist's life because like to be honest, even now I feel the same way on a lot of things. I feel 
start, sometimes I feel um, like, you know, art block or you don't know which direction you are heading towards because, you know, art has so many forms of, um, so many forms of, you know, expression and direction to go, you know, so yeah. I, you know, it's, it's a lot to take in uh, for, for a person. That's what I feel. Uh. So, you know, wh whatever it is, you know, just persevere and continue. Uh. I think that would be the, um, the best thing. Uh. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> mm. So then I'll, I will show you guys like some of the commercial projects that I did, like more on the gaming side. Um, mm. So, uh, yeah, so this is for a card company called Appleboy. Uh, mm. So they have like a non-evolved version and an evolved version. So I'm supposed mm. to do like, um, uh, des do, like the design is like kind of like, uh, oh, you go do what you think is cool, kind. So it's like a card illustration. Uh. So I, I like yeah, doing yeah. this because it's, it gives me a little it's bit more freedom. freedom. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Right. More so free you, you have a full range of design <clears throat> from the character. You don't, I mean, <clears throat> they don't provide you like a character sheet that you have to follow a certain thing. Oh, so, so it depends. Like uh, some clients, they are very strict. So they'll send you mm -hmm. like, oh, you have to do it this way. You have to paint it this way. You have to... Uh, you know, the colors that you have to use is a certain mm. color. Or mm. So there's always a general guideline. So um, some are really strict, but like for this client, they were pretty relaxed. So it's more like just, they give you a color code, like say, oh, this is a red, red, red code color. So, you know, you paint with the, in a more reddish tone, a more, um, the main focus will be more like red color. Law. So that's mm. the, that's the general, um, style guide like i would say and also their stuff are a little bit more uh detailed also a little bit more um rendered in a sense yeah so mm -hmm. there is a certain look to follow so i will try to paint it this way i think that's one of the things about um doing commercial projects that i feel is like uh because you, you can't really choose what you want to do sometimes right like the client just say oh uh, work on this so like sometimes it might not be something that you're comfortable with you know but um you know you you have to kind of like learn and get your way around things lah, to to get it done lah. so that's where you experiment with uh, more you know rendering or more stylistic choice of approach towards a uh, painting something lah. yeah mm -hmm. Um, there's another <coughs> question coming from you. Uh, probably mm. you can take that before you. Oh on. yeah. <coughs> so for <coughs> budding artists coming out onto the industry, how does one get their name out there to get commercial work in any or in or any work that makes money apart from appearing in Smurf? <laughs> Smurf is not making money yet, so you need to actually get that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ah, uh, that's get get the name out there. I think like. Uh, for me, I look at look at it in this way, lah. Um, first, you try to uh, hone your technical skills, lah. I would say, like, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, what what I did last time is like whenever I have pockets of free time. I mean, I don't know if it's it will work for everyone, lah. But that's that's what I did, lah. I, I don't I don't know if it's actually something that is uh, uh, plausible or what, lah. But like. What I usually do is like I, uh, for example, if I'm very into something, some uh, game or what, I will try to make some fan art out, out of it. Uh. But mm. the, the approach of doing the fan art is to do it like a commercial project, you know. But I mean, this is all um, very passion based. Uh. So, like, yeah. uh, I will do it because I really love the, the game or I love the character. And then I'll, I'll push it to a point where I feel it's uh, good to be in my portfolio. Lah. So every time when I have that uh, kind of artwork, right, I will try to post it out on social media, like uh, be it Art Station, uh, Instagram, Facebook, or anywhere. I'll just try to post it up. Lah. Um, I think last time, back then, it was probably a little bit... Uh, like the forums, like like Divan Night would be last time was a really a perfect platform, but I'm not sure about now lah. So 
Mm-hmm. Last time, that's what I did. I, I, I was constantly posting up work um, and trying to, you know, um, do a more polish or more finished work or something different or something exciting, not only to uh, myself, but hopefully, you know, to, to audiences. Lah. So, like, um, <clears throat> so hopefully when that, that goes out and then you post it on social media, if, if you know, if the work is good, I'm, I'm sure you know, uh, companies will reach out to you. Lah. So I think a good platform would be, if you're talking about like commercial stuff, I think it would be ArtStation. Lah. I think that, mm-hmm. that that platform is quite a, like a more professional platform for uh, companies and artists to actually, you know, look at and, and, and uh, you know, uh, see your work out there. Lah. That's why I feel. Lah. Mm-hmm. But I think the, yeah. the key message here is really that you need to actually improve your technical skills. Yeah before yeah. you actually talk about anything, right? You can post as much as you want, but if your technical skill is actually not honed, I think you're I not think, just mm, not getting the eye also. I think just, I think it's more just really practice and also uh, to identify your, your direction. Uh. Because mm. there's so many forms of uh, way of art, uh, way of making money with your art. Uh. That's why I feel that. Uh. So you know, it's not saying that you you render more realistic means, you know, you know uh, try to get that down as uh, as good as possible that you can, uh, you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. But like I said, uh, it's a it's a very long learning curve, uh, It's a uh, long process, uh, You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, just keep going at it, I think it's a, mm. so. Talking about learning curve, right? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> What do you think that you actually fall hardest on? Do you think that there's something that you think that you already started long, but it has become a habit that you need to change? Mm. Have you have actually have, have any of those? I think for me, it's really. I think I'm still really working on anatomy, uh, face, facial uh, structure, you know, mm-hmm. aesthetics. Um, mm-hmm. I'm also still working on my fall shortening and and all the perspective stuff, lah. I think this is something that. Um, there's still some angles that I felt I, I couldn't get it right. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm still trying to figure out how to draw um, certain stuff. Law, yeah. And try always trying to break out of my comfort zone. Now. So, because I do realize sometimes I, I fall into a certain habit and then I start doing things like because, you know, it, it, it kind of works. So I, I just continue doing it. Now. So I, I hope to break that, that, that barrier, you know, always. Now. Mm. Yes, good. Yeah, oh, Mr. So, Kale Nyo from Miri just say hey, hi. Hey, hey yo, man. <laughs> hey, hello. Hey, Thanks yeah. for coming. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, so <laughs> like this is some of the other ones. So, limelight. <laughs> yeah, so, so these are like uh, some of the other artwork. Art so, um, mm. yeah, la. so this is yes. all for card illustrations. I think these are all really old. La. It's probably mm-hmm. about um, probably five to eight years ago or some, somewhere there. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's a very different, like even the rendering and stuff. Is style, very, right? Yeah, it's a different style because the project is more like fantasy, uh, mm-hmm. like based kind of stuff. It so has it's that you know, very, uh, I don't know, <clears throat> some old, old of World Cup kind of Yeah, style. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so th- that was what it was. Lah. So I was trying to, you know, this is a little bit more towards that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I also did work on some uh, Warhammer uh, illustrations for Games Workshop. Yeah, so Mm -hmm. these are the more like Tua Chong ones. Oh, -hmm. shit. The the, the slides are a bit off. uh. Okay. So this uh, this one is another... It's still on Sony Entertainment on our screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Is it? Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so, looking at uh, Guardian Kingdoms right now. Yeah, yeah. So this is one of the other projects that I enjoyed working on. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I had to design characters and and paint uh, splash art for them. Yeah. So uh, for this, the the quality was like some of the pieces I I tried to up it a little bit more lah. So mm-hmm. yeah. So I think the game is still available on the App Store or something. So you can okay. you guys can check it out. Yeah. So, <coughs> yeah. So, yeah. so then this is like the 
the splash screen for their for loading this, this screen. Right? The, loading, the loading screen, right? <clears throat> yeah, but this was like really difficult to paint because every single thing that you see right, is in layers. Mm. Every character. And it's like fully painted, if I'm not wrong. So I have to paint like the whole building Is that a requirement? behind. Was it a requirement or from the yeah. Yeah, from for the this it has to be on a different layer because of the they want to do some animation on it. Yeah. Oh, so I, I have to really like yeah, I have to cut out mm. every character and paint so that uh, every can move it around. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that was this is a tough one. Uh. I mean, because of the layers it's really hard to manage. Especially for like a, a huge piece, lah. So just so out of curiosity, mm, right? Sometimes, mm -hmm. so we always ask. Uh, I mean, some of the <clears> artists <throat> we sometimes yeah. ask that. Uh, do you actually charge differently depending on complexity? Like, yeah. <laughs> for example, the number of <clears throat> layers that is. Are you actually charging by layers? <laughs> oh no, no lah, no lah, not not by but layers. I mean, but okay, um. So usually it's like, like complexity lah. I mean, like if mm -hmm. some like if they show you a sample and the sample is like those like. Uh, freaking crazy detailed kind of artwork right then it's like you know you're gonna spend time on it there's no way out of it you know mm -hmm. then you have to charge a higher price because um you know it's always like looking at the, the quality of render because like this this kind of things you can't escape you know you have to go in and clean it up you have to go in and touch it out and and really you know paint it so you know you have to charge a higher price because it's going to take a longer time you know, right. but yeah, so that's usually how I, I gauge lah. But um, yeah lah. So understand. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, so oh, when sorry. they so yeah. when when they hire you, they <coughs> hire you on a project basis or they hire you on a per image basis? As in, um, just just curious audience. Uh, a bit of both lah, but most of the time is per image lah. So. Okay. Uh, they'll probably give me a batch of cards then i will mm. probably use like a few months to to paint in you know them so I when i'm done i just said yeah so it's it's uh, i i guess yeah that's how it is for me la. at least okay. it's part of time yeah so yeah so these are some of the other stuff that i painted uh, very different from uh what i usually do right i mean like the yeah yeah it is yeah. it is mm -hmm. yeah so these are all for warhammer Monster, uh, Fox. yeah, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> then uh this one is for 40k warhammer. Yeah, yeah, warhammer. 40K. Warhammer. yeah so this one uh, you know i i enjoy painting stuff like that also lah, but i think not many people know because <laughs> usually i post all the the go drawing this is, stuff. This is digital right yeah so all, all digital. Chest, chest in the eyes, right yeah so <laughs> this one's more of like um uh, i like grinding all the the battle damage and details as well lah. so mm -hmm. yeah um but the the process like the process and the time used for this is is very long lah. i think I like for each piece i took about two weeks to paint because mm -hmm. there's there's no way out you you have to paint it uh so many details, people right? Yeah, and there's so many. So I mean, uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, lah. So it's just crazy, lah. I mean, like if I, I, I don't think I have the energy to do it again. This <laughs> 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 is oh, it's on. really a lot. And, yeah, uh, no, yeah, lah, yeah, lah. So yeah, this is some some oh, of the piece. Mm. This is like too insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is actually just like I think one third of the image. So the full oh, image, oh, yeah, because oh, I can't God. squeeze it into this. Oh, yeah, wow. so this one also, this is like Huge all battle movie. scenes. Uh. Yeah, do so, do uh, we get to see this in, I mean, all your social media website? Uh, uh, what? Uh, I didn't you, post it. You post it? Oh, um, we never see it. So it's our yeah. honor to actually have a look at it right now. Uh, okay, lah. I mean, if you feel that way. of your past. Yeah. These are all on uh, like... Uh, <clears throat> packs of Warhammer figurines, or this is on I the uh, um, digital uh, like game. No, this is for I think the Codex, uh, the ah, I see, I see, I see. yeah, yeah. The so book. I think you can you can see you can find it in the books, huh? Um, ah, it's for, because okay. back then when this this race were just like they were coming out with a new race, uh, for Warhammer. Mm. So yeah, so I was tasked to do a few illustrations, stuff. Uh. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, so these are. Uh, the lizard man character. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, mm -hmm. if you actually look at the screen <clears> right now, or before you actually move on to the nice mm -hmm. ladies, 
and catch everyone's attention. Um, yeah. there's a there's a question coming from David Sundra. So hi, Derek. Mm -hmm. I think he's, he spelled it wrongly, but anyway, uh, uh, do you take uh, do you take on work on multiple jobs at the same time, or is everything mm -hmm. one at a time? How do you handle the tight deadlines? Oh, uh, usually mm -hmm. is I have to take more than one uh, but I have mm -hmm. to, but I can only work on one at a time. So I have to plan my time according to the 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 deadlines that I have, law, which is mm -hmm. kind of tricky sometimes. I uh, sometimes if they have the same deadline. Then I have to, you know, produce the the same amount of work. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's and always a struggle for me. Four hours per day, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think I'm not a very good person in multitasking. Uh. like mm. <laughs> if I'm doing one thing, if I were to like do another thing at the same time, I will like kind of get uh, a bit cannot focus at that. So mm -hmm. I always have to finish one thing, then I'll, I'll, I'll try to do move on to the next law. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, moving on. Yeah, so these are some of the other projects. I think this is for Kingdom Dev. Uh, oh. I, it's a, like a tabletop miniature. La. So uh, mm -hmm. this one, yeah, it's more uh, for grown-ups, yeah, in a way. So there's more, uh, the teams are more uh, dark. Mm. So these are all for figurines, is it? Yeah, this, for... this one is for, this is an illustration, I think. So okay. this one is for figurine. La. So you can, you can actually find it in the store, I think. Okay, I right. Yeah, so it's all those like uh, the small miniatures, the 5.5 five, five uh, five, uh, cm. Yeah, so that's uh, so these are more, la, so more of the same uh, projects. Mm. Yeah, so okay. are, are the design <clears throat> from you or <clears throat> uh, some, not all? Um, like this, uh, this one, I think, uh, this one is from me, I think. Uh, mix and match. Uh. So there's actually like, like what I was saying, right? They have a style, like they say, okay, uh, the characters from this race look somewhat like this. So I have to follow, uh, I have to design it based on how it might look like if the character was like this kind of, uh, in this setting or in this world. Uh. So that, that so was, style guy, uh, yeah, but some, some were given to me, uh, meaning like some were like, they already have a, a sketch or something that the design is like this, you know, uh, just you know, come up with the 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 final product or something long. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but for these two, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Uh, uh, but for these two, it's like then I design myself lah, like, based on something that that's already existing lah. Like, so it's always like that. Yeah. Like. Right. Mm -hmm. Next time yeah. I ask you to draw draw the daggers and knives, man. What well, it looks damn good, man. Oh, daggers, yeah. Okay, lah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just review <laughs> saying that he's there now. The industry. Oh, Kelly. The kingdom dev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they are. Oh, you they are do agree. Really well. You're not denying, right? <laughs> so, uh, as in, as in, he's talking about this this game, right? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, he's talking about this so, game. Per se. Yeah, because yeah. it's actually on Kickstarter, and they really had a very successful uh, wow. Kickstarter campaign. Yeah, so they are really doing well, and uh, it's their stuff is um di very different now. I mean, very dark as well, and different from the so usual tabletop song I feel. So how yeah. does the Kickstarter work? I mean, I'm just interested because considering that there's a lot of crowdfunding project right now, right? Yeah, so this yeah. particular project, <clears throat> when you actually kicks, I <clears throat> mean, when you actually do a crowdfunding project, do you get paid after the success of the project or you get paid when you start it? Because sometimes oh, you still need to yeah. get your art <clears throat> there. How does <clears throat> it actually work based on negotiation? <clears throat> I think uh, usually for me, I would try to uh, accept it as a paid project now. I mean, mm. I understand that you know, uh, there's certain risks when they put it out to, on Kickstarter. It might or might not be funded, but the right. the thing is, I think the the work that is done is is work lah. You know, you it's not like it's right. not something yeah. that you you know you spend time on it lah. So, no matter what it is, whether the pay is higher, lower, or what, I think to be fair, uh, I I think artists should be paid before lah, before anything lah. I mean, if yeah. it, but of course this is based on on your own negoti negotiation and also your own uh, preference. La. But for me, I, mm -hmm. I usually would take it as a paid job first, la, you know, uh, just to keep things, uh, you know, flowing, la, I feel. Yeah. 
So for uh, this, the I way, work on it just, before. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the yeah. way, just to actually do a time uh, time check, <coughs> we are 40 yeah. minutes into the show. Um, oh, okay. There's, in fact, <coughs> we, we, we probably have some other questions as well, uh, mm. coming from Julius. Say, okay. hey, Derek, as a new artist, do you think it's more important to build a distinctive style that clients, fans can recognize, or to have a more flexible style that can apply to any project? Oh, well, this is a very, very good question because this is something that I went through. Uh, I mean, uh, because the thing is, being flexible, I think, is a very good thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it means that you can take more projects. It also means that uh, your knowledge in certain things, it will be more. Uh, because, you know, like if a client asks, oh, I want a cartoon style, you, you can get it done in the cartoon style that they want. I want a realistic style. You also can get it done in a realistic style. You know, these are always positive points. But, you know, as you said, um, every artist also, I feel, uh, also need and some sort of identity to their art. Uh, you know, because you, you also want to be recognized uh, for certain things that you do, right? I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I feel for me, I would I would like, like that. Uh, so style is still important, uh, no matter what. I think these two go like hand in hand. You know, it's not like one is greater than the other, but I felt like uh, both are on equal grounds. Uh. You need both in a sense to to you know to learn more things to also explore more uh ideas and more things on your art law because with more fundamentals with more different approach to doing artwork then you will grow as an artist you know where you might mm-hmm. feel like oh uh maybe you feel like oh i see uh, i don't like uh too realistic but you know if you try doing it after a while you feel like yeah you know actually i can do it um but i can extract those things that i like about it and then put it into your your next artwork. You know, this this how I usually try to go about uh, doing things now. So that every you know bit of thing that I I uh, learn through projects or, or the experience that I I gain through those things, I I try to you know uh, break it down and, and take out parts that that I feel would help me in my next uh, venture in finding my own identity. Lor. I think that is that is how I look at it. Lah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. mm. So um uh, I hope that answered the question. Yes, <laughs> so, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. La. So um <clears throat> so like just now someone was asking about uh doing uh like the artwork, uh how to get your name out there and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. I mean um I, I yep. this is what, what I did la, for uh uh, to it's a fan art and also to like kind of see what kind of reaction I can get or on on, you on social media Was it XM that uh, picked it up? <clears throat> uh, Sideshow picked it up la. So Sideshow yeah. picked up as a print, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but this is you know initially it's a fan art la. I didn't think too much into it. I, it was just more of a passion project la. Passion project for mm-hmm. me la. I, I I love you know the the movie. And, and it's something that I just wanted to do, lah, you know. And I try not to, because commercial projects sometimes can make you a bit, um, uh, how to say, uh, like, you know, it, it's, there's an amount of stress inside also, you know. Like yeah. I said, th- there's, there's like a style guy or you, you fear that, oh, if I portray the character in a certain way, will people like it or will people feel like it's not official enough or does the official character do things like that, you know, you have this kind of mindset, but like when it's a fan art, it's more of like your own interpretation interpretation of the character and your style of, you know, um, that you want to explore uh, doing this thing that you like. So the, the stress is already uh, not there anymore. You know, it's more like just for pure enjoyment on your end. La. So I think, I, I don't know, la, for me, I always like that. La. I like the, the, the part where, you know, painting is the, process of what I enjoy you know mm-hmm. but you know when it's a job yeah, sometimes it's a uh, sport, right? <laughs> I mean <clears throat> uh, yeah but like realistically <laughs> we also need to get paid law. but I try yeah. you know to do personal pieces like this just to reignite something in, in me you know, just to re-explore and, and also to you know stay stay a bit like passionate about what I do law. yeah so this is this one is also it started as a fan art law. So I just wanted to uh, paint some Iron Man. Uh, but yeah, in the end, it also got picked up by uh, Sideshow to do as a print. Uh. Mm. 
So, <clears throat> oh, so uh, now I'm actually showing more of my relevant uh, stuff that I do nowadays, uh, which is the comic mm -hmm. side of things. Uh. Is, is that yeah. where that breaking in into the American comics started? Started from the mouse model? <clears throat> Was it uh, where you start getting start, project more? I think it started from yeah. I think those are one of the few lah. I think mm. uh that one and and the Harley Quinn on the the bike lah. Ah so, yes, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that actually <clears throat> got made into a regular car, right? The Harley Quinn on the bike on the Tokyo mm. motif, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, no, no, the the other one, the Suicide Squad one with the holding the bat. So that was actually mm. done uh before the movie came out. So I actually oh, saw the design. Oh, I really gosh. love how the character looked like. Mm -hmm. So I, I decided to try something different because I'm always a, quite more on an anime kind of person. <laughs> so I, I thought, eh, but this character somehow really uh, draws like draws to me. La. I mean, as in like, uh, I really like how it's being portrayed, la. A, a, at least on the, on the design side. La. So I, I thought, why not I just, you know, uh, treat it as a splash art, like how I do in in game uh, game art, and then, you know, put a tick on on, the, on it. Now. Yeah. So uh, yeah this, to that's set up the context of conversation, I think this is the art that uh, Tariq <coughs> has mentioned. Yeah, yeah so yeah, that's, yeah. that's the, the very first uh, comic-related art that I did. Now. Yeah, mm -hmm. just wanted but to put this my came own... After, this came after the... The other one, isn't it? I think the the sequence yeah, yeah, of but, it got mm. published or was that this came after. Yeah, for for the, uh, yeah, for the sequence they they put this as the second one now. But this is yep, actually correct. the initial one that that uh, they did. got. Yeah, they got this is uh, attention now. So mm. yeah, I was lucky lah, really. So um, yeah, mm. So from then on, I did. Uh, I think the Ray Sonia. This one was one of the. The first, my first published cover. Mm -hmm. uh, it was for yeah. a retailer. La. Um, yep. uh, a retailer yeah. exclusive, Com right? Uh, yeah, Comic Market Street, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, really, uh, yeah. So, he was actually like, I was grateful. La, you know, like, like, Comic least, Market Street is uh, Ricky Beans, right? Uh, Comic Market Ricky Beans? I think it should be Ricky Beans. I uh, okay. I thought uh, he's no longer, no, no longer think, operating. <clears throat> Oh, now, it? now it's op operating. Now they merge with uh, Annabelle. Right? Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, they merge okay. with Annabelle. Right? Yeah. Okay. yeah, so anyway, that was, I um, think this was, yeah. Yeah, mm. so let's let's continue also because we are running short of time. Um, there's a okay. conversation very early on. I think we can actually yeah. use it uh, for for conversation for the last mm -hmm. bit of our, our session. I mean, to be honest, one hour with you is actually never enough. Um, <laughs> okay, I think okay. Sachin, Sachin actually asked this particular question. Any exciting yeah. upcoming project from you that you can share right now? <clears throat> uh, now, uh, I think, uh, um, or at least something that got solicited. But I think I saw your uh, future state suicide yeah. squad cover <clears throat> that you actually mm -hmm. mentioned that you wanted to actually do more of the animation style which is mm, this yes. one right yeah, yeah. so there's a mm. future state harley yeah you know, future state harley queen so there's two issues uh -huh. i'll be doing both so this is the second cover um i also i'm also doing a suicide squad uh mm. the future state Su suicide squad la. and then i'm working on uh some i'll be working on more dynamite comics cover i'll be mm -hmm working on some boom studios cover as well and as well as some upcoming dc stuff la. for dc the next project is something that i'm really uh, excited about but i can't say yet i think so uh, do you know uh, how soon we, we actually start getting it uh, i mean uh, okay, at your deadline we more or less know that when we will be <laughs> uh maybe maybe january i guess I, i'm not sure that but I, right. I, I don't yeah, think January, our, our probably, January still will hmm? be future state. So probably will be <clears> much later. Oh. Right? Mm. If it's not future state, it should be something later. So yeah, maybe February or March, uh, if I'm not wrong. Ah, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, when the still, future state uh, got over. Uh. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, I think I, I'm not really sure about this. Uh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> right. we'll, we'll, we'll definitely <laughs> be on the lookout, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I so I'll just I just, I just skim through the covers, uh, 
so that can, yeah, no I problem. don't want to waste too much time. Yeah, so this oh, is like, never uh, wasted. It's just that we are actually running short of time. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't want to cut into the next schedule. Uh, no yeah, so I'll just run through. Uh, these are just some of the covers that I've been doing uh, for this yeah, past uh, two years. Uh. So, yeah. This so is when you just started to pick up uh, from Stan, right? I think Stan uh, yeah, had a yeah. run started, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, was so, it suggested by Stan or I mean DC just decided that okay after Stan it'll be Derek Chu? Yeah. Yeah. Did, uh, Eddie, yeah, Eddie, Eddie, yeah, I was I was grateful. Uh, I mean Eddie just thought that I could uh do something with Supergirl. Uh, so he asked me if I wanted to work on it. So I said yes. Uh. I mean because uh, it's, it's something that I, I you know, I I feel like wow, it's something that maybe I can do something different with her lah. That's what I thought lah. Mm. Yeah, but it's, mm. it's stressful lah. You know, I mean, after after Stan did such a <laughs> the bar uh, has been set so high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like really um, intimidated lah in a sense because like oh shit, I better you know pull my socks up. Uh, but you know, I try to deliver, I try to deliver like a different take on all the covers lah. I mean, I try oh, to lah. It's uh, actually very yeah. very amazing. Yeah. So some of the like the poses or like some of the scenarios like this, I thought Supergirl should have a cover uh that mm. that she's like, like changing into Supergirl. And also in a way, uh, uh, a, a slight like a, a, a loose homage to what Stan did with his, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you know, I kinda wanna to have that that thing also. Lah. So yeah. Lah. Mm. But definitely and that then, your cover <clears throat> on his own also people I mean, uh, we are not doing any comparison, but definitely that it, it is worthy. Uh, <laughs> it is Ooh, worthy. Uh, uh, to, uh, 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 thanks, thanks, thanks. I, I, I try my best. Uh. Then, <laughs> um, <laughs> definitely, you definitely put uh, yeah. your socks up, right? <laughs> Very yeah. high up. <laughs> yeah, then you, see, you, see, you see Supergirl socks, how high? You, you see, you see. I see above the knee. <laughs> above the knee, poor knee so high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like I try to do different uh mood as well. Uh. So some she's always happy, right? So I was thinking like ah, what mm. if there's a raining scene with her more like angry or, or what mm. So yeah, so that's that's what I did. Uh. And then I I, I kind of wanted to explore more on the style, so like uh more line work based, which I uh it's been a while since I did this, uh, so I just want to do something different now. Uh. Yeah, Were so you required like... to convince your <clears throat> editor that you're doing something different? Because, I, I mean, a slightly different style means that um, mm -hmm. if you actually <clears throat> like, sometimes affect sales, right? Because it's something mm. new. Um, I was mean, it this ever got affected? Uh, so far, no. Like, I think Eddie was really mm -hmm. good. Yeah. I mean, he really yeah, liked I mean, me. It means that you're actually already in the, you're you're in the good. Good book, la. so you can do anything. <laughs> People trust you uh, to do anything. I think, yeah, I think I was lucky that he trusts me enough. La. But he, you know, that's that's so that's why I feel like I should always try to do it um, to the best that I can uh, for every cover. That's just what I always want to do. La. Yeah, so this is like the Birds of Prey cover, Manhunter, but this got cancelled. So uh, this is the Batman annual cover. And then mm -hmm. Clown Hunter for Batman, okay. uh, Punchline. Yeah, these are the more recent ones already. So, so having, uh, having done so many of these uh, Western or American <coughs> comics, do, do you, does it actually make you appreciate the characters more? Uh, do you actually make, have you got interested to read them? Uh, actually, I, I still don't read like comics. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I also you, seldom you read. Buy, like, you, you buy, uh, but you don't read. Like, you just yeah, I don't even it. I I don't even collect uh mm. comics or, or art books anymore la. I used to mm. buy art books and and I I buy a little bit of manga, but I don't really read them. I'm more like a picture person la. So I'll just buy and say, "Wow, the artwork them chore." Then I'll just go and. <laughs> Oops, he got Oops. stunned. Uh, but it's almost time. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, uh, Derek. Um, oh, Derek, you're back. Hey, okay. Derek, you're back. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Can, yeah. I have a request. Okay. Can I yes. need to excuse myself? But I really appreciate that. Uh, you're okay. You are actually spending some time, but you still mm. have around five more minutes to actually just uh go through the thing. I mean, I mean yeah. just to mm. come. 
complete the session. Okay, yeah. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. I'll be here, man, bro. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Now, I'll just skip through. It's almost the end. Here. Sorry, I lost. Yeah, I think I put too much stuff inside. So, like, right, this is okay. more of my, <laughs> my own Everyone. IP stuff. Yeah. Can, so, can. Everyone's uh, celebrating to see your, your hour. So, uh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is like something that I did uh, just to explore the, the Chinese uh, horror movies Chinese horror. kind of, yeah, kind of setting. Okay. So, yeah. So, so is this for like a game or this is just stuff you created on your own? Yeah, it's just uh, stuff I created. Uh. I just wanted, oh, it's... it's just for fun. Uh. I just wanted to do something along the lines of like some Chinese uh, MMO uh, or uh, yeah, game uh, or something. So yeah. Chinese MMO, yeah. it looks like, yeah. Or like some movie I... or, or some game. Uh, you know, I, I, it's just a, right of... It yeah. looks like the Hei Wukong, the, 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 the kind of like the kind of mood uh. I don't know whether you've mm. seen the game uh Black Wukong. Oh uh, yeah the Black Wukong uh, yeah, yeah yeah I saw that. That's awesome, it looks uh. similar like, like when I see it yeah, I'm like wow you should no, go and try one, pitch it to, hey, to one, the, some, the, some of the monsters. The concept uh, is like freaking awesome uh. I mean they, when when it released I, I went to see the concept it's like wow freaking crazy man uh, that, that one is mm. on a whole new level already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you soon you reach uh, already yeah, so yeah. oh then then down this is like um the Tokyo Road Police uh, the my mm -hmm. my own IP that I was doing uh. so this is just a sketch uh. so there's some of the the prints that, that is available. I mean if anyone's yep. interested, yep. I think the yes, it's a form the that you can fill up. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Let me just put the form into the list. <clears throat> yeah. I will put the form form in, so don't worry. Anyway, that was already live already. Yep. Mm. Mm. Let's go through the thing some more. Oops, there. Do you hang? Am, am I back? Yeah, you're back. You're back. You're back. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, there's some of the characters that I designed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I still have smoke processors, now, but I think there's not much time. Right? I'll just. I mean, it's okay. Through. Yeah, we don't have to end. Uh, I mm -hmm. think Hancock can, can always start up the next session uh, at the same oh. time. So don't worry, just just finish up, and then after okay. which I mean, you spend so much effort to to prepare it, and we are very <laughs> for it. Okay, serious, serious. I mean, it's not easy to create a almost hundred page <clears throat> presentation. It's definitely. I, know, I just I, I just throw all my art inside uh, Sorry, sorry. I'm back. No I'm back for a quick one. Just uh, really that huh? appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate uh, okay. Derek for actually sharing your sharing session. I definitely will actually arrange a longer session next time. See, it's actually something okay. that I need to actually learn. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no yeah. it's fine. I, I think I put too much stuff inside. Uh. Sure, no, no, no. Sure. I mean, the more the better. It's just a matter of my, my slot is actually not being uh, done as such that allow you to actually get through uh, yeah, no, I, I totally understand. Yeah, no. uh, yeah. But uh, thanks, for, thanks for having me also. No, I uh, always, uh, yeah, yeah. the next time when there's a show, I definitely have you in mind to actually have you on again. <laughs> next time is okay. karaoke. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, see you, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See you, bye. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, okay, la, I just I just came through. La. 